Hi, I'm Andrew Leroy. I'm a senior instructor here at Dunwoody College of Technology. Today we're in the uh, metrology lab, which is the quality lab. And in this lab we have the capability to do 3D printing. So what we're going to look at today is the process. Uh, this is a, a sketch of a hair dryer, and this is kind of the initial way a part gets created. Then you bring it into a CAD system, and you design it and build it in uh, cyberspace. I can download that file from the computer and I can put it in our 3D printers and I can come up with a final product like this. Uh, this is the material that runs through the printers and basically what happens is when it gets to the head uh, the material gets melted so it's heated up to a certain point and then it's in a gooey state and once that occurs then the machine lays down a layer of the part uh, at about ten thousandths of an inch thick. It continues building that part until it gets to its final state. This board is the footprint uh, for the size that uh, we have. This is six inches by eight inches. So the part is traced out on this footprint, on this plate, and built up until it's finished. That plate is located right here in the printer. The head is a little difficult to see. It's in the back, but it's back here. And these are the control buttons that uh, turn the parts on or off. So right now what the machine is doing is laying down the foundational uh, piece of material. And that's a little bit different. It's support material. This material is actually the same type of thing that you find on pill capsules that dissolve in your stomach. So once the part is finished, I can put this in a solution and it'll just disappear. So to completely build this part, it's going to take 16 and a half hours. Okay, so the uh, part is finally built in the machine. And as we showed you, there's layers of it that came up a little bit at a time. And at this point, I'm going to take it out. So what we have is the two parts, two halves of our hair dryer. Uh, the brown substance surrounding the white is a support material, which is needed to uh, be able to do flat surfaces with nothing underneath it. So from this point, what I'm going to do is take these parts off this base plate I'm going to bring it to a tank full of solution that will soak the brown material away and what I'll end up with is a finished piece. So that's cool stuff at Dunwoody. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you around soon.